from the heart of America, I'm Steve Brewer, your soldier of truth, ready to fight for you from the foxhole of freedom. Ask you the questions you wish you would and nobody else will. Giving you better analysis and defending this great nation, this is the Steve Gruber Show. Here are three big things you need to know to start your day right now. Number one, Jason Aldean continues to soar and the support in the black community is tremendous. CMT will soon join Bud Light and Target and Aldean will be an American hero. Number two, in the completely dishonest pursuit of climate change purity, led by a mob of self-righteous white liberals, the next target is your water heater. And then your generator. Yep, they're all up for destruction by the end of the decade. And number three, it is starting to feel like the dam is about to break for the Democrats. They have paraded Joe Biden around for about as long as they can, but his senility is destroying him in public. And worse, his scandal-plagued family led by his junkie son Hunter is about to destroy him on every level. It seems that Devin Archer, one of Hunter's longtime business associates, now is to come in front of Congress July 31st and tell them everything he knows about the millions of dollars flowing to the Biden family, including Joe, Hunter, Jim, Ashley, and a whole bunch more, including the grandkids. And Archer, according to more remarkable reporting from Miranda Devine at the New York Post, Archer is prepared to blow Joe Biden's claims that he never discussed or knew about Hunter's overseas business deals, dealings, or partners. In fact, the Post broke the story that Hunter would put his dad on speakerphone to impress clients. It just broke yesterday. It happened at least two dozen times that he's aware of. So that makes maintaining the lie a whole lot harder going forward. A whole lot harder going forward. Joe Biden has lied repeatedly about his connections to Hunter and his shady deals. This is 2019. Listen. But he said, quote, Biden and his son are stone cold crooked. Have, have, you, have you talked to your son about any of this? I talked to my son. Uh, I, I, we've, we've communicated. He lives out in California. We communicated a couple times. Uh, but look, uh, there is zero, 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 zero evidence of any assertion being made. No evidence. Well, there is now. There is now. House Oversight Committee Chair James Comer says he thinks the Biden Hall on all the graphs could be as high as $100 million. That's again, $100 million dollars and he thinks the money strong-armed out of ukraine was just one small job along the way and he thinks this has been the full-time family pursuit it's it seems at least since joe biden became vice president this has been the ongoing family business james comer lays out the case that barack obama probably knew about the corruption inside the biden crime family that may be why he tried to discourage Joe Biden from running for president at all. He knew what was going on. He knew the slime and the crime of the Bidens. Listen. I'm not shocked about anything. I think that Joe Biden has been selling access to our enemies for decades. And look, I think that, that Obama knew this was going on towards the end. And I think that's why Obama didn't want Biden run for president. I don't think it had anything to do with his age. I don't think it had anything to do with the gaff. I think he never looked, underestimate the ability for Joe Biden to eff it up. Th that's right. And, and, that's and, and look, they had to know what was going on with with Ukraine. I mean, that stinks to high heaven. What was going on there? Yeah, it all stinks to high heaven. That that's absolutely true. Archie, who's forty eight, is already facing jail time for his role in a sixty million dollar bond fraud. And it would seem to me that he is ready to turn over on anyone. Anyone he can to save his own ass. You know why? Because that's what people do. When the chips are down, survival mode comes out and people will turn on whoever they have to in order to save themselves. Well, look, for Devin Archer to step to the microphone with the intent of saving himself from prison or at least trying to cut the amount of time he's going to be locked up, that's why he's coming now. One of the meetings Archer is expected to outline involved him, Hunter Biden, and two top-level executives with the Ukrainian energy firm Burisma that was paying Hunter a million dollars a year plus bonuses for his consulting, even though he knew nothing about energy and could not speak the Ukrainian language. But I digress. He knew nothing about it. Archer and Hunter were apparently together in Dubai. They were summoned to an urgent meeting with Vadim Posarsky and Mykola Zlochevsky who, by the way, the second being the owner of Burisma. A short time later, they met at a hotel where the man asked Hunter to call his dad, said it was urgent. Can you call your father? 
Arch will testify not only that he did, but then he put his dad on speakerphone. Where Hunter introduced both Ukrainians to his dad, who is now the president of the United States. This is the kind of graft that went on in the Biden family. One month after the phone call, one month after that phone call in that hotel, witnessed by Devin Archer, the prosecutor in the case, Victor Shokin, was fired after Joe Biden, while in Ukraine, now famously threatened to withhold $1 billion in aid if Shokin wasn't canned. Well, son of a... You know what, what Joe said. Leading up to Shokin being fired, Archer is expected to testify that the pressure campaign to get him fired was getting ratcheted up and that and that is the reason behind Hunter Biden being paid in the first place, to bring the influence of his father to bear and reap huge profits along the way. Archer expected to tell the committee that he saw this kind of thing repeated at least two dozen times, 24 times, almost like almost like a party trick, right? Almost like Hunter was just showing off and saying, hey, yeah, you can pay us. We get things done. And you need to pony up. You want to see you want to see my dad on the phone? Oh, by the way, remember that that deal when he was on the phone with the Chinese folks or, or with the uh, WhatsApp that showed up on his laptop and said, "You need to take care of this right now." I'm sitting here with my dad. By the way, that day they went back and dug around, did some folks, and they found Hunter Biden in that infamous Corvette cruising around with two scantily dressed women that day back in 2017. You need to pay now. Yeah. This is why Joe Biden and his administration could be in serious jeopardy, to say the least. Congressman Byron Donalds lays it down, the facts that should have President Joe Biden impeached by the end of the summer. Will Republicans do what needs to be done or not? Here is a laundry list of the scandals Democrats must answer for. Listen to this. The 2020 election, the cover-up of the FBI Form 1023, the cover-up of the fact that, yes, that was Hunter Biden's laptop, the cover-up of the fact that, yes, the Bidens took millions of dollars from Burisma in a public corruption scandal with Joe Biden, including Joe Biden, and they covered it up. That was interfering in the 2020 election. And now here we are in 2024, indictment after indictment, all ridiculous and silly, silly issues. Even if you want to say that there's a document issue, that's a process issue. Mark, you've said it many times. There are no criminal provisions in the Presidential Records Act. Why? Because presidents are allowed to have a back and forth with NARA for a five year period. It hasn't even been three years and are trying to criminalize this. This is the Democrats destroying the very fabric of our fabric of our country because they want power. They want to institutionalize their agenda. And to be frank, when Donald Trump became president, it was a pause in their ability to institutionalize their agenda, which is right. going to be bad for our country. It favors the Chinese. It favors the, 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 the Western Europeans down this silly Green New Deal mess. And it's bad for men and women in our country, no matter your politics. No matter your politics. Byron Donalds nails the laundry list and puts an exclamation point on the end. I'll take a break. This is the Steve Gruber Show.